Hey, welcome to the UCI Grapple World Championships. Uh, in this video, we will just show you a bit like the preparation, the race, and then also the recap. And uh, obviously, so far, I don't know how the race went, so stay tuned. Al cross, ma un po' più lunga adesso, ma torneranno attorno alle 5 ore. Terza di giro di Massa del Sif, seconda giro di Massa del Sif. Yeah, so last weekend at the European Championships um, I was able to finish third, so obviously I'm now here at the Worlds with high hopes. I mean high means realistic hopes. Uh, I know that I'm in a good shape and um, all the equipment is really working well, so um, yeah, I think I can perform tomorrow on a high level and yeah, I have to wait what comes out at the end, but uh, I think I will better my place from last year. I think which was around 25 to 30th place or something and yeah the course is really really technical it's 170 k's uh, with quite a bit of uh, asphalt but uh, also a lot of steep climbs and uh, also a lot of gravel so it's actually a true gravel course um, the opposite to last year's world championships um, I had to change around the tires quite a bit uh, first, I thought I could use the slick tires, which I used. <laughs> there are a lot of churches around here. So first, I thought I could use the 38 mm uh, tire, which I used at the European Championships, the slicks. But uh, yeah, the gravel is quite loose here, and also uphill, you need a lot of uh, traction. So. I changed first to the Schwalbe G1 RS in 40 millimeters and changed now even my front tire to like a 40 mil R with normal profile. So I have in the front a tire with a lot of grip and in the back a fast tire. So as usual I'm gonna use my Obea Terra with a Zip 353 NSW wheels. Regarding gearing I uh, decided to go two by so I have a 50, 50 37 chainring in the front and a 10 to 36 cassette in the back so it's a road setup uh, because those climbs are so steep I like to have a small shine ring to go up there and not uh, have to push like a 48 or 50 teeth or tooth chain ring up there. We have like two big stars here with Valverde and uh, Wald van Aert and I think those two guys will go for the for the win. So if the race, you know, they don't have a puncture, they're not crashing, if there's just an all race, I think those two will fight for the win for the first two positions. And after that, I think it's a pretty open race. There are some good road, road professionals here, but then also some good gravel riders and uh, from other disciplines. Um, also, like the Americans came over with like someone like Keegan Svensson, and I think he has a, has a good chance on like finishing high. And then, yeah, obviously myself, I've, I'm hoping for like a really good result, but um, my goal is just to go as hard as possible and uh, give it, give it all, and I will see what uh, comes out at the end. But I'm, I'm optimistic. But if it's in the end third, fifth, tenth, or fifteenth, then it, it is how it is. I just hope it's a, it's a straightforward race with like no major problems. Everyone is racing. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it, actually.
gravel roads are done and dusted, literally. Um, it was an interesting day, let's say it that way. Um, but I don't know where to start. Actually, there are a lot of like highlights today. Obviously, also a bit of low lights, but um, yeah, it was a brutal day. Brutal day. Um, before the race, everyone was talking about like that there's so much asphalt in it, but actually, I it felt like we haven't ridden on asphalt at all because uh, the the gravel bits were so rough and hard. That, so I was like, yeah, it was really, it was really, really a hard, tough day. So usually I do uh, a carb loading day two days before the race, but for whatever reason I didn't do it this time. I tried to be as uh, light as possible for the, for this race, and uh, I think I took it a bit too far, and haven't eaten enough the last two days before the race. But still, uh, I made the split. Yeah, so like we, we went hard from the beginning on the first climbs, uh, Matej Mohoric, who eventually won the race, um, rode hard from the beginning. Um, yeah, we could, we could make a gap to the rest with like around six, seven riders. Uh, then Wolfram Art got a, got a puncture. Uh, before that, he actually crashed and I crashed with him or I crashed over him. There was even a photographer in that corner, so I think it might be a funny picture. But then the guys kept pushing so hard that I couldn't follow anymore. And the same was for Valverde. So it wasn't like I was bad in that moment. They just went so fast, these three guys, um, that even Valverde couldn't follow. So and then we were like a small group with like Keegan Swenson, uh, Valverde uh, and me um, and uh, Alessandro De Marchi from Italy. So we just kept riding for, for a long time and then like two, three other guys came across. We kept riding by the point 25 k's to go. I was totally uh, done. We went into the climb and it was just empty. There was, was nothing left. And from then on, it was just suffering for an hour. So I actually thought about quitting before the last climb because I went into the last climb, which was like ridiculously steep. And I was hardly able to keep pedaling because I was literally totally empty. And, uh, but I thought, all right, let's try to make it to the finish. Maybe I can finish in top 20 still. Um, so I kept going, but I wasn't actually able to ride over the top of the climb because I had to unclip just before the top, like maybe 10 meters to go because I, was, I had no power left. So then someone had to push me and to help me. Um, yeah, so then in the end I finished 17th, but uh, in general it was a worthy World Championships. It was bloody hard from the gun. It was really rough. Um, it was a nice competition. I, even though I suffered a lot today, I enjoyed it. The spectators were, were unbelievable. Um, I could hear my name so often, I saw it even written down on the asphalt. Um, so overall, even though I'm not happy with the outcome, but it's my kind of own fault. Um, I'm, I'm delighted with today. It was, it was a great experience. You could see that gravel is big. It's, it's not, not just a hype. We're over that point now. It's, it, people are interested in it. And it was great. It was just in general a really great day. That was my last big race. I'm really happy with the season. Last week I got third at the European Championships, which made me really proud or still makes me proud and um, I have won two races I have finished on the podium almost every race I did and um, yeah it was it was a great season and um, I think next year the course is different it's in Flanders actually there where the European Championships were last week so I'm yeah I'm really excited I'm looking forward to next season but until then um, thank you to uh, my sister Sarah who was here for me, the last two races was great support, and also like thank you to my coach Sebastian Rösler for the support all year round. And yeah, that's basically it. And before we leaving Italy, we had to go to Autogrill. I wish we had Autogrill in Germany because they do the best paninis, and actually the pizza they make uh, at a gas station are quite nice or quite good. So yeah, we we're enjoying our. our last meal here in Italy 
And yeah, that's it. And uh, one thing from Kadia, the cameraman, he's sorry for the uh, for the drone footage, but he so he basically flew the drone into a massive tree where we couldn't get it out from. So the drone is still in Italy. <laughs> And uh, that's why the quality of the pictures is not not that good because it's just a backup. Uh, I hope you still enjoyed it and um, yeah, see you next year. I guess. <laughs>